What's up everybody? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. In this video, I got a 06 Honda Accord. The guy said he was driving along in the rain, turned the wipers on, and they just quit. So what he did was he just assumed it was a motor. He went out, bought a wiper motor, brought it to me, and told me to install it. Well, you know what happens when you assume sometimes. So before we just slap a motor into it, we're gonna look and make sure that's what it is. Most likely that is what it is, but we just gonna make sure. I'm just not gonna slap a part on a car hoping that it's gonna fix the problem. I kinda like to look and see what it is first. Let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and get these wipers turned on. Horn blows. Oh, it'd be nice if I had the key, right? You goofball. Well, they definitely stop. Let's see if I can just jiggle it and see what happens. Well, all right, this possibly could be a bushing in the transmission because I can hear it. I can hear the motor running. So it might be just a transmission bushing. These older cars, the worst thing is just try not to break the rubber grommets when you're taking them apart. So just remember this when you're doing this, don't put the wipers on until you cycle that motor one time to make sure it's in the correct position. These caps, they just pop up. Not much to them. I've seen it one time and it happened here at the shop. Uh, one of my techs were taking a wiper blade off and he pulled the arm up and these arms, they're, they're spring loaded, right? So when he took the arm up, it flew back down and smashed and cracked the windshield. So if you're ever replacing your wiper blade, just be careful because you can crack a windshield. Just changing a wiper blade. All right, let's blow this off. So looking over there, there's some, there is some clips that are already missing, so I'm guessing somebody's already been in here once. We're gonna go back with new clips for sure. I don't know how many of these are gonna make it. Well, that one went bye-bye. I know these things are gonna break. All right, let's lower this down just a little bit. So, I may have some of these clips. But you see these tabs right here? These are the clips I'm talking about right here. Now to see how they're busted off. So what we're going to do is, I, I'm pretty sure I got some of these in the back stock room. I'm going to go ahead and just have to replace all these. But let's look and see right here. Let's see, these are the arms. Let's see where it's messed up at. It might be the whole transmission that's messed up. Let's take a look. So I got the wiper motor on. If you look right there and see how the motor's working, if you see that arm passing through, there should be a bushing on the end of that arm and that's kind of what broke off. So I think, I think we might get lucky on this. I think they're just four tens that hold this whole assembly in. Might help if I cut the motor off.
Oh, look right here. Let's see if I can get you a good view. If you look right here, this arm, the end of it's busted. So that might not be a good thing. This is your wiper motor. This is the wiper motor transmission. It's possibly I can get just this assembly here. Um, I was hoping it was gonna be just a bushing and which would have been a simple fix and saved him a ton of money. But let me do some research and let's see what I can find on this. Hopefully we can come up with something aftermarket. I called the dealer to try to get some of these clips because you couldn't get them aftermarket. And of course they're on national back order. So what I did was I had a couple of these clips that were still good and I left the plastic tab in there. Talked to the customer and told him, he said, nah, I need to just secure it the best I can. So I had these clips in stock. And what I did was I pulled out the, there's a little plastic housing here that this snaps into. I pulled it out and it looks like it's gonna fit in there just fine to hold it down. So that's where we're at with that. All right, let's go ahead and get this motor assembly away from the car so I can build it. It came out, but it's ugly. So I was able to get this aftermarket. Part number is uh, DOR 602-508. The nut was a 17 that came off that. And it should just pry up the arm. I say it should just pry up. So you kind of want to remember the orientation this thing was on, came off of. So when you put it on, we kind of want to put it on the same way. It was over that bolt right there. So it's going to be, when I flip, when I flip it this way, it's going to be over this section right here. Right there. All right, the torque specs on this are good and tight, German. So this came off of just like this. And that was there. Woo! Jumping away from me. Surprisingly, I haven't seen much AC work. We've had a little bit here or there, but nothing crazy. So this is going to snap on like so. Like so. Let's see if I can pry it on this way. All right, let's get her on the car.
There's always going to be that bolt. When I get to this point, I'm going to turn the wipers on and cut them off and let them set in the correct position. And we're going to make sure it's working correctly too that way. Make sure that, you know, everything got lined up right. So down up. All right, so when I cut it off, we want it to rest that way. And just like that, it does. All right. So this clip busted right here where the harness came off. So we want to make sure we get it back on there. So we're going to pop it out and tape it back to the harness because I don't want to take any chances, like I said, of this harness moving around. It goes just like this. And somebody's already taped it on there once because it's full of electrical tape. Definitely not factory tape. So next week is vacation for me. We are going to the beach. Heck yeah, I'm ready. So if you're missing a week of videos, that is why. Damn, a little like factory. This is the point I was kind of dreading a little bit. I'm just hoping these clips line up, you know? You know what I'm saying, man? Gotta lower the hood just a little bit. Got too much height. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're going to the beach this weekend and uh, we're gonna stay for a week. And um, believe it or not, I have all my kids coming this time. It's crazy. We missed Memorial Weekend. Normally we're down there on, what is it, Memorial Weekend? Yeah, Memorial Weekend. But this is the first year, like I said, we was at a, a uh, volleyball tournament. And uh, <laughs> 30, 35 years going to the beach, we missed it. But we're doing good this time. We are getting it. All right. So I'm hoping yeah, that didn't work. That did. Well, that's not bad. That's going to be all right. Ah, snap, snap. I'll be damn it held. Kind of surprised the crap out of me. Yeah. All right, so I need to find some push clips to go in the front of these. I need at least one, two, three, possibly four. I'll be right back. So we're gonna go back with four Christmas tree clips. And why they call them Christmas tree clips, I have no idea, because that looks nothing like a Christmas tree. But that's just that they call them. Time for my favorite hammer. The duck bill. Love this thing. It's so good for getting these things like this. Best hammer ever made. It's mainly for body men though. You don't see a lot of mechanics having them. Right, moment of truth. And look at that. Sweet. All right, and just like that, this job is done. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.